Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Sunday and I am going to do my Chef Cafe Singapore haul. I posted a picture on my Instagram, but I got a, another surprise package from Chef Cafe, a huge box. So okay. as usual, she sent me a box full of just fabulous things. She has the best taste and everything is so cute. I mean, the packaging is i'll put the picture that i took at the end of this video but it just made the cutest picture with everything so i'm going to show you everything she got me plus she sent me i don't know if you remember last time she sent me like a wrap black dress um that was velvet and then she sent me another black dress that i love it fits me perfectly i mean i need to just send her some money and have her shop for me because she does so good but this is the i'll go ahead and start this is the Silk Scarf Double Care Hair Mask. And oh, look at that. I'm not throwing away this package. I'm going to put it in my little get ready room over there. Um, this is so cute. This is the Collagen Eye Patch. And I'm sorry, of course, it's bad lighting. It's cloudy here today. And um, we didn't get to go to church today because John had to work. He's actually on his way home. They had some kind of a lot of times when they have like shutdowns or they're implementing something new they'll have to go in on sunday so um but this a lot of this stuff is from the is it etude or etude house you'll see it at the bottom but um I, that must be a really good big place over there for makeup and skincare because i see a lot of that when i see like singapore hauls and um everything that she has given me from there i've loved like the little lipstick the pink lipstick and um so i love that and then she sent a bag full of nail polishes, really cute ones. I've already worn this one, but last night I ended up, I was craving a neutral after wearing the, um, what did I have on the Oh, other I had day. on that, um, the really light blue. And then I put on this, and so I ended up putting on Deborah Lippman. Um, I'll put it down below which one I have on, but, so I love that. And then look at this. And you can't even really see it good. It's like a yellowy color with all kinds of little different glitters in it. And then this. This reminds me of that Happy Birthday by Deborah Lippman. And then a pretty green one. Here's John. And then this one is beautiful. It's a peachy color. So I love all those. And look how they look like little ice cream cones. Oh, precious. And then in that package was some um, BB creams um, from the Etude. I'm gonna say Etude, it might be Etude, but I'm gonna say Etude House, I don't know. Um, Precious Mineral, the Bright Fit, and then Magic Bubble O2 Peeling Pack. Um, gosh, I'm gonna have fun with all this. O2 Water Peeling Pack, some samples. Um, and I do share with Brooke on some of this stuff too. We have fun with all this stuff. Matter of fact, that's why I wanted to go ahead and show you today so we could go ahead and start playing with it. Um, so I'll put this over here to make room. Okay, she sent me, I did not realize there was a Sephora over there, but this is a Sephora little, I needed a new one of these. Mine has gotten, you know how they get like pulled out and kind of yucky. So I'm gonna go let hey, John just walked in and I showed him. I said, this is the dress she sent me, isn't it awesome? And she, he said, yeah, it's got some cat hair on the back. <laughs> I forgot that Bub has been sleeping in my seat. And normally when he does that, I'll put a towel down and I forgot. So I'll have to get the old lint brush out before I leave. Um, she sent us a new mascara. It's got the curved wand. And I cannot read it. Lift your lashes to new heights. A unique brush creates beautiful lashes with no clumps, long-lasting curl, waterproof type. So that'll be a good one to try. I, I like the ones with the um, curved one too, even when I'm wearing the false lashes, because it seems to put them together quicker and easier. So I love that, and Brooke loves mascara. She sent me this Keratinology Detoxifying Shampoo um, by Sunsilk. I'm gonna be loving trying all this new hair stuff. Um, this was really pretty. Let's see. Lucid Darling uh, Fantastic Rouge Gloss. And it's a really pretty color. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Love that color. Um, so much good stuff. Okay, this is the Rice Water Bright Cleansing Foam. So she sent me a bunch of skin and hair stuff, which I love. is my thing these days. Um, Flower Syrup Gloss another lip gloss pinky color 
The packaging is also pretty. If it had a color, let's see, 3482, just in case. <laughs> and some hair vitamins, hair vi ellipse hair vitamins, hair treatment, little things. Um, this, I think, goes with that. It is the Keratinology Hair Spa Mask. And I can really tell the more attention that I've been paying to my hair and my skin, you can really see the benefits. It is worth it. Okay, the Nymph Aura uh, Volumer. And this is from the Etude House. Oh gosh, so it's something that you put on your skin that gives you radiance and like a dewy glow on your skin. Ooh, that is neat. Look how pretty it is too. I'm so sorry you can't see it here. I'm gonna turn this a little bit and I bet it'll make it a little bit better. But anyway, I'll take a picture of all this stuff or put that picture at the end. Ooh, can't wait to try that. And then this is Be My Love Hand Bouquet Hand Essence. And I've almost gone through that whole thing of hand cream she sent me last time. So, and one thing I've been doing that has really helped is I took all of my hand creams and my eight hour, um, like that little cuticle, you know, the eight hour, oint, eight, Elizabeth Arden eight hour ointment stuff. Um, I put it all in a real pretty bowl on the side of my bed. So now if I'm watching TV, I just naturally go over there and grab those and do my hands and feet while I'm watching TV. And that has helped. Okay, a Stila lip gloss. And I'm not sure of the color. 412A. Um, this, one of those pins, like I like this super shaped liner from Kate. I use those, I think, every day now. But today I used the Stila. And then Dear Darling Tint from the Etude House. And I love these. I love these. Um, and then put a cream sheen or something over it. I think Brooke's going to be grabbing this. She loves, like, she'll be grabbing this and this. She loves those colors like that. A Pearl Extract Mask. I'm sorry, you guys can't see the packaging. And then, uh, okay, let's see, a Collagen Moistful Skin Care Kit from the Etude House. Gosh, she just hooked me up. Um, and this is a Milk Talk from the Etude House. That must be like the cutest place in the world to go into. Um, Milk Talk Body Wash Set, three pieces, oh, right up my alley. Hand Bouquet Collagen Mask, that is so neat. So a mask for your hands, um, a foot mask, a YSL Forever um, Youth Liberator Serum, and White Moistful Skin Care Kit. So this is, you know, the Asian market is where we got CC creams. Chef Kathy is the original one who sent me the Rachel K CC cream. So I feel like I owe her I will never forget Chef Kathy <laughs> for many reasons, but I owe her for that because I feel like I just don't ever want to be without it. And um, so anyway, um, but they are the ones that came up with all the skin lightening and all of the cool things that help with lightening and skin care. So thank you so much, Kathy. That is so sweet. And if you guys, I'm going to put her YouTube channel down below, but I'm also going to put her Instagram because she is so much fun to follow she is a chef but she's a i think she should be on bravo because she is has the best personality and i love that she combines her personality and her food i mean you'll see all kinds of different stuff um she does you know sweet stuff and like one day i saw she had a bacon cell phone case <laughs> And she just has a great personality and style. And her outfits of the day that she posts are very nice, very chic. She has the best taste in shoes, like um, with all of the spikes. She's very edgy, um, just a wonderful girl. So I'm going to put her Instagram down below, and I'm getting ready to do my outfit of the day and show you the dress that she's wearing. So I'll be right back. And it is like a really neat, you pull it over your head, and it has like the little um, wrap that fits me perfectly. This is my, it's most people, your smallest part, but it really is with me because I'm such hourglass. I mean, I start immediately going out right here. 
and that's why sometimes dresses that hit right here aren't very flattering on me but this is just perfect and it's a v-neck and it's a beautiful cotton fabric and um so what i did instead of having a big tie i doubled it around so i could have just like a small bow right there like the high and, low and i tried it on with several pairs of shoes and i thought these kind of went with it the best and these are just some of my favorite shoes they are the sorry um, they are the Stuart Weitzman, um, the Alex Wedge. Also, a good nude pair would look good, um, but I just love it. I try to give you the whole. So anyway, I just love it. It fits so well. Okay, and for accessories, I have on my Sheila Fajal rose gold polished hoops. I didn't feel like putting any rings on them. I've been kind of minimal lately with my jewelry. I don't know if it's because I've been hot. You know, it's been hot here or what, but... Um, and then I've got all my Sheila Fajal bangles, um, and I've got these on my website, and then I wore my, I put my Lisa Freed little, I don't know if you guys remember when I got that, it's like a little wraparound bracelet. I've been almost scared to wear it because I was scared that some of the things would fall out, but I thought, you know, I just need to wear it, and just what happens, happens. So I'm going to wear it today with this. One thing I, I wanted to do, so just for my own curiosity this morning, I wanted to compare three of my favorite nudes and one is the Tom Ford Vanilla and I have that on today. I wanted you guys to see it to compare. I've had a lot of questions about the Giorgio Armani I showed you the other day and then my Clarins nude. So the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, of course they're going to start playing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a good swatch, but I'm going to try. What I noticed is the Tom Ford Nude Vanilla has a lot more pink and it has a lot more pigmentation the color of your lips don't show through quite as much so I'm going to put a good swatch of that first so you can see it has it's more of a dense um, pinky white type color and I will take a picture of this and put it at the end with my iPhone and then I'm going to do the Giorgio Armani um, 100. I don't even know the name of it. If, if there is a name, let me know. I'll look around and see. But I'm going to put it in the middle. This has more of a just kind of translucent, um, I don't know if you can even see it. See how it's just like my skin? It doesn't have as much of the, um, sorry my Mr. Haney voice, um, it doesn't have as much of the pigment and of the whitish pink. It's just more naturally nude. And then the Clarins, which will be, always be one of my favorites, I believe has more, um, more color also. But very close. I would have to say my favorite is the Armani. It is just a beautiful lipstick, but these two are very, very close. And this nude vanilla is worth it. One that thing this is good for is putting over, like um, any lipsticks that you kind of like, but they need something, this is good to put over, like Belle Du Jour, um, any of them, I'm trying to think of. Any of those matte, matte lipsticks, this looks good over. So, um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I had to tell you today. Um, this week, I'm going to do a tutorial on basically a look like I'm doing today. I've been using that Stila palette every day and loving it. And um, so I'll do that this week and then my body skincare. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. And thank you again, Kathy, Chef Kathy. That was so and sweet. I hope you guys have a good Sunday, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.